Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a CNC machine that punches way above its weight class. It's got a 32-bit open source control board, precision linear rails, a dual nut anti-backlash system, and a generous working area with an X and Y of 420 millimeters and a Z travel of 90 millimeters. This is a machine built for makers who want professional level accuracy and flexibility, whether you're carving wood, engraving metal, or cutting composite materials. So if you're interested in a CNC machine, let's take a look at the WizMaker Artisan 01. The first thing that stands out with this CNC is the build quality. The frame is solid aluminum, heavy, rigid, and designed to stay square. Each axis rides on linear rails with precision bearings, which give you smooth motion and incredible accuracy. This is a big step up from the plastic V-wheels used on many of the hobby grade machines. The dual nut design on the lead screws completely removes backlash. That means when the tool changes direction, there's zero slop. Your cuts line up perfectly every time. Even during high speed moves, the motion feels tight and controlled. No rattling, no chatter, just clean mechanical precision. So the machine is extremely well built. I was really uh, impressed by it overall. I like how it has these knurled knobs on each axis so that you can move the machine around by hand. Another cool feature is the ability to control the machine using this wired manual controller. It has dials that you can set the distance of movement the speed of the movement, and you can also home the machine and even run jobs without being connected to the computer. And it has a magnetic backing so that it sticks to the mount. Another thoughtful addition to the machine is this nice spotlight that is movable in all directions and is actually quite bright. I found it to be uh, pretty useful. There will be a 500 watt spindle available at some point by WizMaker and here's a size comparison between the 300 watt and 500 watt. The 500 watt spindle kit includes a control board, an ER11 collet, and runs at 12,000 RPM. It also includes all the needed wiring to connect the new spindle. The upgrade is easy to connect. It's just got one wire which has a notch so it can only be plugged in in one direction and then threads on to keep it tight. The next step is to connect the power cable. And then to connect the controller to the main board using this plug which can only go in in one direction. Next thing to do is to attach the spindle by inserting it into this bracket and tightening these two bolts. Okay. 
And the last step is to attach the spindle wiring to the wiring going to the control box. Now one of the most exciting add-ons available for the Artisan 01 is the rotary axis. It turns this CNC into a full four axis machine, allowing you to engrave on round parts like tumblers, chair legs, or handles, all kinds of different cylindrical objects. The rotary axis is rated for 0.1 millimeter accuracy and speeds up to 2500 millimeters per minute. That's precise enough for detailed engraving all the way around a cylinder. Setup is simple, plug it into the control board, enable the fourth axis in software, and you're good to go. Here's a quick video on how to assemble the axis and attach it to the artisan wasteboard. So let's talk about dust, because if you've cut MDF or carbon fiber before, you know how messy that can get. So this setup includes a complete dust collection system, a shop vac, hoses, a cyclone, canister, and a magnetic dust shoe that attaches right to the spindle mount. The dust shoe is easy to attach. You just slide it over the spindle and then tighten it with the thumb screw. The bottom of the dust shoe is magnetic and can be easily removed and replaced for easy tool change. So we've gone over most of the features and some of the accessories that will be available for the artisan. Now it's time to try this machine out and see how it functions in actual use. Here I'll just show you quick how to set up a workpiece using the masking tape and super glue trick. I'm sure most of you have seen it. If you have, just fast forward. The Z-Probe is also a nice feature that comes with, with this machine. To set it up is very easy. You just place the puck on the material and then connect this alligator clip to the bit. And then you'll plug the end of it into the control box of the Artisan.
And now let's watch the artist and engrave this eagle on this piece of pine. The project is actually a test file that came with the artisan and I'm using a 30 degree V-bit. And I'm also using the candle software that came with the artisan to control the machine. And here are the results of the engraving of the eagle. I think it came out pretty darn good if you ask me. A lot of detail in there. Um, I just used the settings that were that came with the file. I'm sure that if you wanted to tinker around you could get even better results. But overall, I gotta say, I think it looks pretty darn good. So after spending time with this CNC, I'm genuinely impressed by the balance of precision, power, and flexibility. The linear rails and dual nut screws provide professional grade accuracy. And the optional upgrades, the rotary axis, 500 watt spindle, and dust system, it all makes it feel like a complete workshop solution that can fit right on your bench. And if you're looking for a CNC that can handle real work, not just hobby projects, then this one's absolutely worth considering. And with that, once again, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody who watched the video. And until next time, take care.